Hi everyone, welcome to another practical chess position. This one is from the book Imagination and Chess, just as yesterday's was. Let me make sure this is the right position. It is. So, like to move, as always, pause your video, try to come up with an answer on your own, and then when you're done, unpause it, and we will work it out together. All right, I'm going to try and figure it out now. So we can take on h7, it's obvious, and what to do from there is not as obvious. Um, g5 is an interesting move somehow, because it opens up some lines. I don't know that it does anything too special. But it looks worth looking at because if he doesn't take, he's going to get crushed. But after g5, pawn takes, queen h7, king f8, queen h8, king e7, queen takes e5. I mean, we have a nice attack there. Whether that's the right move or not, hard to say. I mean, it's pro it's, it's a strong-looking move. Um, like the, the idea is, if we take, he just runs away. If we do this though, and he tries, he can't run, and we're gonna take this. So, like, if he makes some random move, well, this is just made. So, like, but if he goes here, for example, now we have the f6 square, and he gets mated with rook h8. So, I think his only move is to take. And then my idea is, you know, at the worst case, I mean, maybe there's something even better, but uh, like for example, we could we could do this, and takes. Yeah, this is probably the answer. I mean, King F8 runs to H8, Rook H8, and and after this we have like Rook to H7. I mean, this attack is pretty, pretty strong. So I think the move is just G5. Very strange looking move, but I think it's a good one, opening some key lines for us. Let's see if I'm right. I'm pretty sure I am this time though. Two o one, G five, boom! It is the right answer, and this is after pawn takes, queen here, king f eight, queen h six, king e seven, queen g five, f six, rook h seven, bishop f seven. This is how the game went, at least. Rook h to c seven, knight g three, and you can see white's pieces are coming in. Okay, and white one. Uh, so, yeah, g5 is just a, a way to get key squares, the f6 and the g5 squares, to us. Um, because otherwise his king just hides on, on the e7 square. Cool. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this practical chess position. And I will see you tomorrow with another example. Bye-bye.